it's Shari here today and I'm going to be making this You Are Sublime stamp set card using some Chibitronics to make the little light on the anglerfish light up. So I started out with cutting some Blue Jay cardstock with that swirly backdrop die you see there and now I'm just going in with the largest of the outside in rectangles to just cut off the edges so that I can have a border on my card base with that swirly backdrop. I'm just going to stamp out some images here and when I started I wasn't really sure how many images I would use and what all I would need. So you're going to see I'm going to stamp out a lot of the seaweed and the coral that is included in this set. I'm also going to be stamping out the rock, the large rock from the mermaid set. There is a small rock that's in the sublime set. And then the treasure chest. You see the treasure chest there that I colored? That is from the pirate set, but I actually didn't end up using it. There's a lot of pieces here you'll see, like the little lobster and the eel that I didn't actually end up using in the card. I wasn't sure what I was going to use, um, but I'll just keep those pieces for future cards because they're already colored and cut out. I also decided that I was going to use a colored light for this card, and I went with an orange light, so I decided I wanted a fish that was a different color. So you can see I colored an orange one there. I'm going back and I'm coloring one using some teals. I'm just shading a little bit, some simple shading, and blending it out with the lighter colors. And then I'm going to go in with my darkest teal color that kind of matches these, and I'm going to put some spots on his belly there. So I've die cut all my pieces you can see there and like I said I don't end up using it all. But I have a, a card base made with peacock cardstock and it's going to create a nice little border around it and it's going to match my fish and match the colors. I've got a really small hole punch here and this actually fits perfectly in the light of the angler fish. So I'm lining it up and I'm punching out the center which you have to be very careful pulling it off so I don't want to rip it. So I'm just going to push it off with my piercing tool here. And you can see that I have cut out just the center of his light. And that's so my little Chibitronics light will shine through. So now I'm going to figure out where I want them on this background. I'm going to mark it with my pencil. And then I'm going to cut the same hole in the background. And that is because all the workings of my circuit is going to be behind this panel and hidden behind this panel. So the light needs to shine through my background as well as through the end of the fish there. So now I'm layering this on my card base so that I can mark exactly where I need that light to be. So unfortunately I forgot to turn my camera on. Um, that was partly because I got frustrated with my circuit and I rethought things. But this is my mock-up of the circuit I'm going to do. Basically, you have this little piece that you cover in the copper tape, and when that touches down, it completes the circuit. So I'm keeping this on my desk for the next time I do one of these. I've already got my copper tape coming off of that little triangle you can see there. I've got negative on the left positive on the right and you can see that I've already covered a little piece of cardstock all with copper tape and glued it to the back of my cover sheet right where it's going to need to connect in that bottom right corner. So I'm putting my little light down negative to the left positive to the right and my battery will go in the left corner and I will connect it over to the right corner with some copper tape. But to do this, you have to make it to where the tape touches the top of the battery from the positive side. So the battery is negative on the bottom, positive on the top. So the way to do this is kind of to make sort of like a switch, but the switch will be closed all the time because what's going to connect and finish off our circuit is going to be that completely covered copper square that's in the right bottom corner. So you just put the tape on one side of a piece of scrap paper, wrap it around to the back side, and so that's what's going to touch the top of my battery. So I can set my battery on my negative, put the top touching the positive, 
and then now I can adhere it down to the card base but not connect my two tapes. I'm going to stop it short so that that copper square you see on that panel is going to complete my circuit when it touches the two. So you can see there when I push down and it touches, the light lights up. So now I'm just taking some foam tape, cutting it into some small pieces just to sort of hold my battery in place. And I'm going to be popping up the panel on foam as well so that it's not touching the battery, not completing the circuit until I push it down and give it some pressure. Because you don't want your battery on all the time. Now I can add some foam tape to my panel as well because like I said, I'm going to pop up this whole panel. I'm kind of laying it beside the bottom piece so I can see where to put my adhesive. I don't need it where I've already got it around the battery obviously and I'm going to need to keep it off of that square that I've created. So I will cut it down into thinner strips to put it along the edge of my square. Because I still need to pop up that corner. I just, you don't want to cover up the copper tape. You want to leave that exposed. I'll also add some pieces around in the center around the light. And this is just to kind of support the middle there so it doesn't sag. And I keep putting it on here and testing it to make sure it continues to work. Because there have been times before when I've got the whole thing together and then my light doesn't work and it is very frustrating. So I just be sure that I check it as I'm going through the process. So now that I know all my tape is in the right place and everything's going to work, I'm taking off the foam backer where my battery is and then this will just hold down that top part of the switch right on the battery all the time. The battery is slightly thicker than the foam tape. so. It'll kind of bulge on that side, but it's really not that noticeable. Now I can remove the adhesive from everything else and go ahead and adhere that panel down because I know that all my adhesive is in the right place and I know that my switch works. Now I can continue to decorate my card and I'm just using some paper bag cardstock and one of the stitch hillsides to create the sea floor and a place for all of my coral and my rock to adhere to and give it a bottom to my scene. I'm going to go ahead and put my fish on there because I know exactly where he needs to go. So I can go ahead and glue those guys down. And then this way I can make sure that the sand and the floor of the ocean here that I have is the right height and I didn't have it too close to my fish. Because you want to give some room to put our coral and our seaweed in there. So I'm starting with the rock and I'm going to be putting some of the coral and seaweed on that. And then as you saw at the beginning of the video, my little push here button is going to be in that bottom right corner where that copper square is that you have to push down to complete your electronic circuit. I try to color the coral in bright pretty colors and sort of vary the colors around so that I had these nice pops of color. And I decided my little push here button would be great in also a bright pop of color to kind of blend in with all the coral that I've got going on there. So I colored it in orange, sort of like the first anglerfish that I didn't actually end up using.
So I'll use the coordinating die to cut that out. And I'm just going to incorporate this little button into my coral and my rocks. So it looks like it belongs in the scene. So I'm just making sure that I've got it in the right place because that's kind of important to have your push here in the right place. I did have to move it down slightly. And then I'm just going to add some seaweed to it just like it's part of the ocean floor as well. I'm using my tweezers to help kind of tuck those things in there behind. So I like that that button almost looks like, you know, a shell down there with the rocks and the seaweed. You can see it's getting pretty full down there and that's partly why I did not end up using the treasure chest. But I think that would be super cute with all this coral around it like it's sunk and then all this sea life grew and lived around it. And I think that these little rocks go great with that big rock from the mermaid set. Now I'm going to stamp out my sentiment. I'm using a banner from the Bannerific die set and I stamp that out in the peacock ink. And then I'm using the sentiment, you light up my world from you are sublime. And I'm stamping that in some green ink there, some cilantro ink. And I'll just use the die to cut that out and then pop it up on some foam pieces and put it right on the top of my card. So there is my finished card and there's the little light up light. Super cute. So here is another look at the card and all that bright pretty coral. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.